position to begin with shoulder blade stability and actually to decrease pain on the top of the shoulder is starting off by pressing in a downward motion because usually it's overhead activities that bother us. So I would have a patient like she is standing here next to a table and we use that pillow under her hand because if that pillow is not there, she's going to have to lean over, which we don't want. So you want to have something that props you up so you can stand tall or obviously she could sit and do this. So she's just going to very lightly push down into that pillow as she squeezes into the back of her armpit. So as I go behind her, we'll see that as she presses down, she kind of rotates her elbow into her side to do that same squeeze of the armpit, which typically alleviates pressure on the top of the shoulder. She could even turn her hand out slightly more to the side, which may encourage that motion a little bit more. That's something I would begin with 10, hold each one for five seconds. Now to go to a higher surface, she would come over here to the bike and you could use anything, countertop, table, this just happened to be a convenient surface. Now she's progressing her arm into a higher position, which is typically more of a problem. And she's very lightly going to tuck the elbow into the side as she pushes down and then relaxes. Holding each one for five seconds. Once again, trying for somewhere in the 10 to 20 times. Very good. Now to progress this to be even more difficult, she would go over to the wall. And we could use the wall or we could use the, an edge of something that's up higher, refrigerator, cabinet, shelf. And she's going to do the same thing, very lightly, pinching elbow in and pulling downward, just letting the friction of her hand stop her hand from moving down the wall. So all three of these will be progressively harder as we go further overhead. Her goal is to try and stay short of feeling any pain on the top of the shoulder. So if this were to be painful, she could try it with her hand lower on the wall. Okay. And if that's still painful, we would probably go back to just doing the height around counter height or that bike that we used. If that was painful, we would stick with just table height with her hand down at her side.